I know that it's hard. I know that it can be difficult. You're 350 pounds. You see some jacked guy on the internet telling you all you got to do is this kettlebell routine and eat the right foods and you can look like me. You're struggling right now to even figure out how you're going to pay rent this month and you see some kid on the internet with an e-com business talking to you about $200,000 months. You got no girls. You haven't even talked to a girl. Maybe you haven't even seen a woman in the last six months. You got guys like me on here. Just go approach, man. Just do it. Just do it. Just dude, come on, man. Like, live the best life you can. It's... When you're really down and out, and I've been extremely down and out in my life, it can just seem so overwhelming, dude. so unbearable. And I remember when I was when I was 290 pounds myself, probably bordering 300. I just, I would, a couple of days and I would, you know, drink a kale shake. I'd have some eggs and some beef or whatever. And and I'd go right back to beer and pizza and cigarettes and whatever. And it just feels like there's no escaping when you're in the dark pit, when you're, you're Christian Bale, you're Batman in the dark pit, the Bane has banished you too. But... I want to give you a path out of that. So here's what you got to do. So number one, you've got to have your entire life philosophy revolve around faith. You have to release and inhibit any and all skepticisms that you have. There might be content out there that you watch that's really positive or somebody out there putting out some positive message and your first instinct is just go like, that's bullshit. That's not gonna work for me. I'm sure it'll work for other people, but it ain't gonna work for me. And you've got to be blindly faithful to what positive people are telling you. You just have to buy in. You have to buy into this video. You have to buy into my content. You gotta watch some some David Goggins. You gotta buy in. You gotta watch some Jocko Willink and buy in. Watch watch Tony Robbins and buy in. You've got to inject faith into your life because when I was 300 pounds and I had no girls and I had terrible skin and I was insanely depressed and I would just wake up in the middle of the night and have these crazy panic attacks about dying and just thinking about looking at all these people all around me that were in great shape and they had women and they had money and they were just on the right life path and I'm on the verge of failing out of Ohio State and I just my life is just absolutely miserable I just decided that I'm going to buy into what anybody is telling me if it sounds like it could be good for me so you have to do the same your entire life philosophy has to revolve around faith now number two You have to look at your life right now and say, what are the largest and easiest levers I can pull that will bring me up to just a mere baseline of an acceptable reality? So many of you, your kitchen right now is wrecked. Your bedroom is wrecked. You've run out of clothes that you feel even look like they make you look somewhat presentable. You have a life that is just complete disarray. Your car is disgusting. I know this is the case for for so many of you. The food that you eat is absolutely repulsive. Now, again, guys will get on here and you have to have nothing but carnivore, beef, steak, eggs every day, 40 miles, 20 approaches. 200,000 a month. I get it. Don't worry about any of that. What is the baseline? Can you go clean out your car? Is there trash alongside your bed right now? Can you go to H&M and just pick up some white t-shirts that are going to fit you decently? Go to TJ Maxx, find a couple pair of shorts for the summer. 
can you just clean it up a little bit? And when you clean it up a little bit and you see how easy it was to go from complete filth to just like, you know what? Yeah, I feel a little bit better. A lot of you aren't even using body wash. You guys don't realize how many young men that I've spoken to in the last eight years of doing this. A lot of you aren't even washing your body. So what are these baseline minimum actions that you can take right now? Don't worry about the cold shower. Don't worry about the five miles and the billion dollar morning routine. Just write out some baseline things that you can do. And today and tomorrow and the next day, instead of as soon as you get home from work, laying on the couch and getting on your phone, because I know that's what so many of you do, Instead of that, on your way home from work, pick up a Red Bull, caffeine max. Oh, well, somebody told me though that like you shouldn't have caffeine. Fuck them, fuck them. Switch up your routine. Get a Red Bull on the way home from work. Listen to rap music in your car as loud as you can. Put on Takashi 69, pound a Red Bull and say, when I get home today, I'm doing that laundry. I'm ordering the clothes hangers. I'm cleaning up my life a little bit. I'm taking a shower. I'm going for a long walk while the clothes are in the washer. And I'm gonna just start making these bare minimum improvements. There might be five of you watching this right now. You might be thinking like, wow, I mean, this is like, this. I mean, it, it, shouldn't this just be, you know, shouldn't this just be common sense? Yeah, it is. But then there's the other 95% of you watching this right now that are resonating with this hard. And what happens is you just start slowly raising the baseline. You, 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 You raise the baseline of the life that you're choosing to live and then you come home to a clean place and you're mentally feeling good about that. You come home and you decide, you know what, I'm gonna blast caffeine and I'm gonna go on this long walk instead of laying down and getting on TikTok right away. I'm gonna listen to something motivational. I'm gonna listen to Abraham Hicks. You all need to be listening to Abraham Hicks on the regular, by the way. Every single day, just type in Abraham Hicks and just listen to anything that comes up. Listen to my content every day and just scrape and claw. Watch The Revenant and watch the the scene where Leo fights the bear. and Just scrape and claw your way to survival. And you just get just above survival. And eventually just keep going higher and higher above survival and before you know it you're thriving your life's good and you're going like dude thank god aaron wore those ridiculous orange glasses and made that video in his jeep titled i know it's hard